Thanks to Recovery Act funding, CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company is accelerating efforts to prepare the K-Yeast core reactor for disposition. Workers have been performing mock-up core sampling drills for weeks in anticipation of actual core sampling at the K-Yeast reactor later this year. This week, workers practice removing core samples in full personal protective equipment. Basically, we're just verifying that it's feasible to do the job. You know, we're setting everything up as if we were to do it in the real world inside the reactor. Um, we're setting up the core drill. Um, we're showing our exchange from the core drill, extracting the core, and handing it off to the sample team. And we're just working that process and getting comfortable with it so everybody's on the same page and we do it safely. Several teams will be involved in the process. One team will drill the holes into the reactor core and the sample team will retrieve and then package the samples to be analyzed. There's 60 inches of concrete, that's called the bio shield. Um, there's one inch gap. After that, there's 10 inches of cast iron that we'll have to penetrate and go past. And what, after that is graphite. And uh, the three, we're doing four holes. Three holes, we're just doing concrete and cast iron. And one hole, we're gonna do concrete, cast iron, and the graphite. And they're sampling everything. And, Basically, this is just to characterize what's in there for, for later when they do the demolition. CH2M Hill is using Recovery Act funding to design and document the preparation for disposition of the case reactor, one of two former production reactors in the 100K area of the Hanford site. Construction of the 100DX groundwater treatment facility is moving closer to completion as crews continue installing electrical, mechanical, and process equipment in the process and transfer buildings. When complete, the facility will have the capacity to treat hexavalent chromium contaminated groundwater at a rate of 600 gallons per minute with a lifetime total of 3.6 billion gallons. The system will be connected to a network of 45 miles of piping and 53 wells along the Columbia River. Construction began back in July with the laying of the concrete slab and the construction of the building's outer shells. Now both buildings are nearly halfway finished with the internal components being mobilized into the facilities. The $20 million Recovery Act project will essentially pay for itself over its lifetime with its new innovative resin filter system that is expected to net $20 million in life cycle savings. The DX system will ultimately help the Department of Energy meet its 2012 commitment to remediate chromium contamination and prevent it from reaching the Columbia River.